Okay, so I needed some corrugated metal for a project and I wanted it to be uh, old but everything that I could find that they were taking down off the barns was either beat up um, and I would have had to purchase too much for the project. I only needed two sheets and um, it was kind of expensive anyhow so I decided to make my own. So I went down to Home Depot and I bought two sheets. You can see here how it's uh, nice and shiny, brand new, fresh out of Home Depot, and I'm going to show you how to uh, age it so you can use it for a project and save yourself a couple of bucks. Okay, so as you can see here, I've already started to work on this sheet. Uh, I, I went to the paint department at Home Depot, purchased some muriatic acid, a spray bottle, and some hydrogen peroxide. I've sprayed it with the muriatic acid already, and you can see it's kind of taken the shine away and give it a dull look. So the first thing you want to do to age it is you want to go ahead and take uh, your four inch grinder with a grinding wheel on it. Make sure you're wearing all your protective gear, hearing protection, eye protection, and go ahead and remove uh, the surface off of here. The sheet is very thin so you want to make sure you're not grinding too much in one area because you'll burn a hole right through it. So I'm just going to do real quick here and uh, show you how it's done. So I've already prepared the surface, I've ground it down, I put on my chemical resistant gloves, make sure you have them for the acid because uh, it will burn your skin. I've taken the muriatic acid here, I've already put some here in the spray bottle. Uh, it's going to off gas a little bit so you want to make sure that you're not breathing in them fumes. You might want to wear a, a light respirator or something like that. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and spray it on the area that you've already ground down, the one that you want to get the rust off of. You spray it on liberally, and you can see it off gassing. Try and stay downwind from that. Spray it on, and while you're waiting for that to take effect, you're going to pour your muriatic acid back inside your container and put hydrogen peroxide in here. Alright, so while I was waiting for that to take effect, I went ahead and switched out the muriatic acid for some hydrogen peroxide. When you put this back in the bottle, you want to make sure you mark it that way. Don't take it back into the house because it may have some residual muriatic acid in this container from the spray bottle. But once you've got that, go ahead and take your hydrogen peroxide and spray it on the areas that you've ground down and sprayed with the muriatic acid. And as you'll see, it'll take a chemical reaction and start to rust. Again, too, it'll off gas, but just give it a couple minutes. If you can get a close up in here and show the rusting effects. And then the longer you let it sit, if you look down here, I've done the same thing here and you can see how this looks like it's been rusting out in the yard for a couple of months. Hasn't been used, taken down. So there you have it, um, aged corrugated steel if you can't bind it and you want to save a couple bucks. Thanks for watching.